Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Donna here. I'm here today to uh, do a little short video for you. We're going to be making a new bow topper for my lantern in the kitchen and I want to take you along as we make a funky bow. I am going to be doing two more wreaths uh, shortly. Uh, I'm waiting for some product to come in. One of them is going to be a patriotic wreath a little different than a standard patriotic wreath because it will have a theme and this is the theme the US Navy both my uh, husband and son are veterans of the US Navy and so I'm going to be making one that is a US Navy and then we're going to try something totally different something I've never done and we're going to try it together. Uh, I think you'll see the video. <laughs> if it comes out, you'll see the video. If it doesn't, you won't. I'm going to try one of those flower wreaths, and I have never made one in my life. So we'll do that one together. But today we're going to work on a bow topper for my kitchen lantern. Um, it had a bow topper that was fine with a little swag. No, I'm not even going to do a swag. I just want a topper. And I'm not doing it on a tray. If you've seen previous videos of mine, you noticed that I generally put my lanterns on a tray. But we so very rarely use this table that I'm just going to set it on the cloth, which is a bright red print cloth that matches the curtains in the kitchen. So I have uh, shared the ribbon that I'm going to use before but I'll share it today. I have this cute, I think I've got it right side up. It's uh, ladybugs. I have another one that is the red and black polka dots to match the socks on the ladybugs. I have this one that I've had for a long time, but it's kind of pretty. It's, it's a black with a gold. Uh, I wanted to bring some of the black from the ladybug out also. And then I have this ribbon, and I'm not sure exactly what kind of ribbon it's called. It's kind of a woven, and I can tell you, I think you can see, it will ravel at the bottom, but I don't think, I think we're just going to leave it like that because it just the, makes the atmosphere of the ribbon. So I'm going to bring you down to the table and we'll get together and make this 12 loop funky bow. Be right back. Okay, here we are down at the table and I'm going to start off by doing a little something with the lantern. This is the lantern I'm going to be using and you're too low, you can't see the lantern. Hold on. Here we are. This is the lantern I'm going to be using. I put a little greenery in there with the candle and I'm just going to add um, a few red flowers to give it a little bit of something something. Let's see if I can get that one around the back a little bit. There we go. And we'll put this one right here in the front. And really that's all I'm going to do in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on its timer now that I just disrupted it Lordy I will see it in a minute timer okay <laughs> I did put new batteries in let me just get this out here again I made a mess gotta clean it up It's on the timer now, so I won't have to worry about it again. It will come on automatically every night until such time as the batteries are no good. There we go. And I did just put new batteries in it, so it should be okay. So there you go. That's how it's going to look and we'll close it up and I'm going to put it off to the side here so we can work on the bow. Now this is 12 loops which means it's an even bow 
which means that all of my loops are going to go in the same direction the first time around. Otherwise, they would um, all be headed in the same direction at the end. I have 22 inch ribbon. I'm going to make 5 inch loops with 6 inch tails. And we'll see how that works out. Easiest way to do one of these, just hold the ribbon in half. Okay? Take this, and you've got your loop. Find some place where you can measure 5 inches. I'll go from 20 to 15. And scrunch it together. Now you have this one is fine. This one is upside down, you see? So the back one, I'm going to take it and twist it around. So now I have both sides facing up and the loop. Okay, now the next one, we'll try the red polka dots. Fold the ribbon in half. And I'll find five inches. Pinch it and push it in next to this one. Okay. I have one that looks good, one that's upside down. We need to twist it around. All right. The next one is this fuzzy yellow. And I'm going to go in half. Five inch. And I really don't have to twist this one. I will, only because I twist them all. I think it does look better twisted. And the last one with the, uh, the little bugs on it. Ladybugs. Speaking of bugs, I don't know where all of you are from and if you have the same situation there that we do, but we are in what's called love bug season. Love bugs because you usually find two of them hooked together. They're only um, job in life is to propagate. <laughs> and so you will always find them hooked together but they are attracted to um, automobile exhaust okay I'm going to start the other way now and make the loops go in the other direction uh, they are attracted to automobile exhaust in particular and so they get all over your car and they leave a sticky residue which actually can be damaging to your paint if you don't take care of it. And so you have to keep washing these things off. They don't bite, um, but they come in swarms. And very honestly, they're just plain annoying. <laughs> so, but we're getting them now. And I tell you what, if you see cars like delivery trucks that are out on the roads a lot during the day, I honestly don't know how they're seeing anything out of their windshield. Okay, I'm going 20 to 15, and I'm putting the loop this way, upside down from the first group. Um, their windshields are totally, totally covered with these dead love bugs. Another yellow. I think the originator or the original person who made um, this, it's called a funky bow, was Julie Samako over at Southern Charm Wreaths. She does make some gorgeous pieces. And since then, I think everybody has taken it and kind of did done little tweets with it to kind of make it their own. Um, I think it's sometimes I think they're really cute in this instance for instance where there's a lot of different colors that I want to pick up in the kitchen this works fine 
but sometimes I'm not really into these bows with all the loops. Okay, I'm going back to the last one. I'm getting quite a handful here. And I'm going to go back to 15. And this is going up like it did originally. And the black and the polka dot. And then I have upside down. Here we go. And I'm going in next to each other each time, not on top of each other. And if I get this, if I did this just now, okay, that would be fine. My tails aren't, wouldn't be quite equal. That's fine. Don't worry about it. last one. You know what I have? A piece of wire sticking out of the bottom of one of these. Just going to snip it off before it sticks me. Okay, well there you go. A handful of ribbon and I have a red pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going right under my thumb in the front. And I'm going to pull it around the back and I'm going between my fingers here because that's where I'm holding these ribbons. Between my fingers. I'm going to pull this tight as I can and then what I do and what most people do is twist the bow, not the pipe cleaner, because you can get it tighter. And so, there we are. And I'm going to, what I try to do here is just find all my loops. I'm not so worried about if something's on one side versus another side. because sometimes the loops get hidden. I think my husband will pick that up. If he doesn't, it'll go to the answering machine. I'm going to pull this one a little bit. It seems a little shorter. And I like the ladybugs. Alright, so we'll fluff it some more once we get it on the um, lantern. But see, there's a couple of them here that we're hiding. I have one piece of the red dotted ribbon that I'm just going to put in this pipe cleaner in the back. That's what I'm going to use to tie it onto the lantern. And I'll just kind of circle these around a little bit. right way here. Okay. Now I want to give this a really 
tight twist. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. There we go. I got to get the right side out. Now I've already done a dovetail on the ends of these. And there you go with the bow. And now we'll get back up here and do a little more fiddling. Some of these tails going in other directions here. This is kind of strange. Uh, ribbon, but it um, goes pretty much where you want it pretty well. In other words, you can manipulate it. And I'm kind of trying to keep the, the ladybugs in the forefront, but not necessarily all together. And I think these tails will be fine. So there. Now I think what I might do is to put a couple of little flowers in here. thinking maybe something right in here. And I have the glue gun on. So we'll give a little shot of glue. Let's see if we can put it right in there. See what else I have here in my little basket. Oh dear. What I just did is drip the glue on my scissors, so I need to get that off of there. ASAP. Excuse me. And I will have to take a file to them. 
to get that off of there. That's what you get for putting them over where you're working. <laughs> greenery this glue gun gets exceedingly hot you can see it's smoking actually on this piece of foliage One more flower. All right, in here. I think I'm going to call that done. I think it's great. I love it. No, I'm not going to put it in there. You know, you could play around with this forever, putting more stuff in. But I really want the bow to be the center of attraction. So there you go. 12 loop, funky bow for my lantern topper. I'll take a picture of it in on the table. Be back in just a minute. Well, here it is. I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love it it looks so pretty and bright and you can see the cloth that it's sitting on which and you can see my three-tiered tray in the back with the colors on it I love it what a beautiful summer statement I'm happy hope you're happy and you can see that cloth matches the curtains. I made those a few years ago. So, there you go. That's a 12 loop funky bow lantern topper. Here, if I can keep it in the frame, we'll be good. There you go. Alright, so anyway. I'm going to just say a quick goodbye here. I will be back in another couple of days as soon as I get the products and we'll start on one or the other of those wreaths, whichever I get the products for first. And uh, we will have some more crafting fun. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I am just over the moon um, thinking that I have almost 7,000 subscribers. It's just Oh, amazing to me that somebody likes to watch a little old 74 year old 75 the end of this month <laughs> lady play in her craft room and so anyway thanks so much for everybody just stopping by if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it and if you're not a subscriber and would like to, hit the subscribe and the bell, and you'll be notified whenever I play again. Until then, I hope everybody has a great afternoon. We're shortly going to get hit with some thunderstorms, so this is a good time to close this out and say, see you later now. Everybody play nice. Bye-bye.